Hey, 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 my name is Polish Lynx and welcome to Love Esquire. Still chasing after that princess. <sighs> exactly. Me every time I wake up lately. After actually having nightmares, weird, mm -hmm. but it's the second night in a row that I have nightmares. First one was kind of weird because I was for some reason driving a car in the middle of the night. Returning from work, kind of. And uh, the place I worked at and drove home to. I was basically the road there is through the forest. Well, not full, not full, full, fully, but yeah, there is forest area. So I was driving and apparently I forgot something from the work. I don't know what it was, uh, what, whatever. So I turned around in the middle of the forest. And when I basically, you know, stopped, reversed, and then turned around, instead of uh, being on the driver's sitting, I was uh, behind the driver's sitting. And on the shotgun sitting, there was uh, something. So I don't know what it was. Like, there was kind of like a shit ton of hair that was moving, and it was turning towards me, and that's when I wake up. Woke up. I honestly don't know what was that. Kinda like... I guess Medusa feeling? But I'm not sure. Probably not that because there were no snake hairs. Uh, let's go to the castle. And the other one is... Was... Was... Kinda like the one I've had a crap ton of... Times. So basically I was... Uh, Walking, walking, and suddenly, like my knees completely. Ah, there you are. Not really knees, but legs completely give up. I oh, I hate this nightmare. Really, I absolutely hate. How goes this. your training? Monsters are fine in nightmares, but when I see uh, my highness, legs giving up I on me, ugh. who else is helping me run the kingdom? Is there anyone I should know about? You mean my subjects? What business do you have asking about them? You know. I'm just curious. I mean, isn't it best for me to know who I'll be working with? Yes, that is true. Though, are there not other people you could ask? People with more free time than me. Considering how many times we were able to see her during the day. I'd say she has some free time. Every minute of a princess's time is precious, you know. Oh, sorry. I just thought you looked like you might have some free time. Are you insinuating that I am ignoring my duties? No, I'm insinuating you're done with your duties for the day. Because you work so amazingly on your duties that they are done at 8 a.m. already and you have some free time. Nice save, huh? What? Of course not, princess! And on that matter, what are you currently doing? Because as my subject, you are obligated to make yourself useful. I'm trying to gather data that will help me being more useful. Nice save again, huh? In fact, any time wasted on your part translates to time wasted on mine. Is that clear? Yes, princess. <laughs> I still claim that my ah, two saves fire. were great. Is there anything else on your mind? Yes. Would you like, perhaps, a star compass? Ah, a tribute for your future queen. Splendid. 60 points. That was freaking expensive, by the way. Hey, princess! Skip! I'm sorry, Kamala. Wait, what? There's cho- I guess the past weeks have taken a lot of something I could say to cheer up. There's still hope we can change. It's not your fault. You can see the best things. Oh, shit!
Okay, so this choice is not like... There is still hope! I don't know what was that. I... Shit! I can't access it now? But I don't know what was that talking about. But yeah, I guess that's why she was sad and so on lately. Boom. I know it sucks. He let you down. Uh, hello there, Squire. Princess. Not the greatest of topics, but let's go. Are you still? You are not here. But she's here. She's here. So let's go. I was not ah, done. You're back. Sorry, I, I did not see you there. Tulip. Thank you, Squire. A five-star tulip. Maybe it will be all right. Plaza, because we have someone to talk to here. You. This pretty face has some pretty items. That's right. Your face is goddamn pretty. Okay. Let's sell you some useless for me stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Fish. Okay, I would not give moldy cheese to anyone. Thank you. Tulip can stay. Broken earring. Frog. Meal. Fish. Moldy cheese again. Okay. Okay, no, this is not going to be sold. Giant grimoire. I think I know who I should give the grimoire to. Okay, let's see. Cosmetics. By all means, keep buying. Keep buying. I don't remember what I give to her. I think I did it on the main. I'll main route. Care of your goal. I'd rather you take care of me. <clears throat> A fine choice. Thank you. Uh, I think I gave jewel books to Kamala. Thank you for your generous patronage. Okay, we are done with buying. What would you like to buy today? Can I just give you something? I can't. Damn it. Uh, okay, let's skip an hour. Maybe Val will appear somewhere. There she is. Hello. Val! What you looking at? I don't know, but we're. It will go to the. Ah, I don't know what you're talking about. It will go good, good anyway. Yeah. I have no idea what was that. Got any other hobbies? Wait, 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 it's Wednesday. When was the birthday? Ooh. Event? Ah, let's not rush there. Let's not rush there. Back so soon, huh? Yeah. Well, what is it? I gave you the milk. What about the potion? Will you need huh? a potion? Oh, this doesn't look so okay. bad. I guess that's not a good gift. There's still an event here. Shall we go? No, I'm more curious. When was the birthday? No worries about the event for the time being. Let's see. Not here, links. Here. Eighteenth. Okay. Uh, we still have time. Okay. Okay. Keep one more. Okay, and I will freaking kick myself. Don't know how, but I will. Let's go. Castle! I guess I'll take a look around before going home. Confronting me at this time of night. Ah, okay. This I remember assassination? this Patrice! Assassination! She's in trouble, I've got to do something fast! I hope I'm not too late. An unpopular war? And now, our traditions. What are you trying to do, princess? 
improve the country. If you are still sore about the music festival, then fall in line with the rest of the petty nobles. Exactly. Exactly. Petty? Do you know how much damage those commoners did? You are clearly exaggerating. Besides, I've dealt with the nobles' complaints quite graciously if I do say so myself. Hmm? Your father would have punished someone! You let those peasants do as they please! Okay, so if you ask for punishment of somebody, how about we do something to you? Because apparently someone did not do what I suggested. <clears throat> When you said you are going to your mansion. Ow, Dear ow, Marshall, if the Alcozy nobility have no problems mingling with their subjects, then so should we. Exactly. You could learn a thing or two from them, you know. Or more, to be honest. Learn from them? I think not. What is wrong with you, girl? Have you grown so desperate for support that you turn to peasants and to what foreigners? What is wrong with you, man? You are so fully of yourself. Wow. You you are not at the top, basically, man. You are not the most perfect person. Your father would have trusted his own people. His advisors. And that's a mistake, really. Because apparently one of them is called Flankman, and he's a garbage man, piece of garbage man. I believe I know more about my father than you do, Flankman. I am his daughter, after all. And as his daughter, you appear to not have inherited his ability to rule. It's a pity you've fallen so low. He's lucky he's not well enough to see this mess. Well. And it is a pity that you cannot see how narrow-mindedness will not save Cerulea from its enemies. Exactly. Are you calling me a... You yes! insolent brat! She's calling you. Careful, Marshal. <clears throat> Crap, he's leaving. I better hide. Or, you know, hide? And when he's moving... Phew. That was close. Squire! Uh, what the deuce are you doing here? Uh, Patrol? Die! Uh, Were you eavesdropping? No, just patrolling the halls. No, I wasn't! I thought you were in trouble! I heard something about an assassination. <sighs> As you can see, I am still alive. You need not worry anymore. Oof! Hey, are you sure you're okay? What's this? You wish to console me after my argument with the Marshal? Obviously. Well, I... Of course I do. I've got your... Ow! <laughs> what was that for, Princess? Sorry. I needed to let off some steam after that. Ah, oh, great. I became a punching bag. I wish you punched the Marshal instead, Your Highness. Oh. He's got a point. I wish that as well. But imagine all the drama if I did. Not if... We silenced him later. <laughs> so for the greater good of this kingdom, the evil side of me, sorry. have to do for now. Glad to help, I guess. By the way, why were you up at this hour? Me? Well, I was... I was at the chapel, praying. For my father. Yeah. I will never get it. Why people actually go and pray in churches, chapels for someone's health? I mean, that doesn't really have any kind of influence on their health. I must admit Let's face that it. I'm not the most spiritual of people, but I'll happily swallow my pride just for him. Princess, I'm sorry about your pops. I mean, the king. I hope he gets better soon. Yes, I hope for that as well. I... I am in need of his wisdom now more than ever. Forgive me. It is getting late. Sure, princess.
He's still around, but we can't do anything. And now she's sad. Yeah, that's that's well. We talked about her father and so on and his health, so yeah. Makes sense. Race and save. <sighs> Hello. It's six AM. What are you Greetings, Princess. Hello there, Squire. What are you doing all the way out here? As of late, I have been trying to get closer to the people. Kamala has suggested I see my kingdom through the eyes of its people, or something like that. But whenever I try to talk to someone, they seem to run away whenever I approach. It's as if they expect me to hang them. Uh, maybe you should lose the guards? Bringing a dozen of them seems a bit too much. But these are just standard precautionary measures for a princess. It is, but kind of sends the wrong message. Yes, you may be right. Hey, bro! Whoa, is that the princess? Greetings, your highness. Amy. Wait a sec. Oh, I got an idea. Princess, this is my sister Amy. Maybe you can practice talking to her. Don't worry, Amy is super friendly. She talks to everyone, even to things she's not supposed to. <laughs> like flowers. I... I see. Amy! Come here! You've met the princess before, right? Hello there, your highness. Yes, greetings. You have a very nice farm, might I well, say? They are both so flustered. Why, thank you, princess. All of its good homegrown produce. In that case, may I ask your annual net gain? If it is lower than average, I can pass laws to ensure you get proper dues. Mm -hmm. Huh? N no, Th that's fine, princess. No, that's not! Let's get money! Do you suffer from pests of any sort? We certainly can't have rats messing up our wheat. I can put in your service my royal squadron of rat exterminators. Pests? Not really. How about thieves? As a show of goodwill, I will be especially brutal to any thieves who dare threaten this farm. Oh, there's no need for that, princess. It's pretty safe around these parts. <laughs> this isn't going well. Maybe I should help her out. Princess, think of something you have in common. What? What do we have in common? Uh... Psst, princess, try talking about girl stuff. Yeah. Oh, of course. Great idea. So, Amy, do you like jewelry? I, for one, am quite fond of diamond necklaces. Oh my god. Um, not really. I'd rather spend the money on other things. Ah, yes, I see. I am glad to see that my subjects are so frugal. Live within your means. An excellent proverb to abide by. Damn it! She's horrible at this! Uh, if you want, I have a couple of old necklaces. I've never gotten around to wearing them. I could give them to you, if you so desire. What? Really? Why, yes. Though, mind you, it's only made of 22 karat gold. I'll take all of them. And sell them. Gold? I can make a fortune selling that in the stall. I like your thinking, Emmy. What was that? <laughs> Nothing, princess. So, about those necklaces. <laughs> it's America. Oh no, she's supposed to be making friends and buying them. <laughs> but she's got my thinking there. 
I'd probably be doing the same thing. Uh, uh, and uh. Anyway. Batteries. Now ah, that you are here. There you are. Subjects. Princess, I was wondering, who are the top knights around here? Scouting out the competition this early? Yeah, of course. Mother, aren't you competitive? Mm-hmm. You ask me questions on things you should already know. Then again, I realize that your ignorance on this matter is not entirely your fault. I mean... Really? Yes. If anything, it is the fault of your knight. Sir Hugh should have informed you of the people you will be working with. That's right, it's his fault. But alas, it is the queen's job to clean up after the blunders of her subjects. In that case... Let's start with him, Sir Hugh LeFast. What? Despite the demeanor in which he carries himself, Sir Hugh is an important figure in the Cerulean military. Uh huh. He serves as the head of logistics. As such, he is in charge of the acquisition of arms, rations, and any other resources we might need for the upcoming war. Technically, this is something that I'd be doing if there was war, I guess. Because, well, I'm after that particular <sighs> thing on university, basically logistics. Whoa. So even someone like Hughes got responsibilities? <laughs> Don't let outward mannerisms fool you. As much as I hate to admit it, Hugh is quite the capable knight when push comes to shove. The only problem is, is that it takes a bloody war to shove him out of his indolence. I'll be honest, to some extent, you do remind me a bit of Hugh. Huh? There is much to learn from that man, when he sees fit. However, I would advise against picking up his less aspirational traits. And I can understand why. Where did she go? Uh, I was not done. I had gifts ready. Okay, Kamala and Vel over here. Hello. Did, uh, did she want to have a conversation? Your Future. assistant manages a stall, does yes. she not? Yes, skip. I'm sorry. Hi. Vel, uh, hobbies? So Vel, what other stuff skip. do you like? Yes. Okay, Vel. I have uh nothing. Frog, do you want a frog? No. Damn it. Emmy wanted a frog. This pretty thick. Yeah. Oh 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 maybe we'll trigger this one. No we ah, will not. Squire, is there anything else on your mind? Yes there is, actually. What if I gave you? What if I gave you a wild pinkberry? Now this is very much. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, you're back. What if I gave you? I did not see you there. Herbal soap. Thank you, Squire. I'm starting to feel better already. Can't trigger it because of this. I'm at hundred percent potential of my brain. Oh damn! I wish it was through. One, two, two three. three. One. Boom, skip. Oh. It's fine, Scar just makes me pull it. It's come from some ground. I'll trash it forever. <laughs> okay. This technically That's what he would say, let's face it. 
Oh, let's go home. I mean, nothing is happening. I think. Oh. Ah, I guess we'll use this opportunity to sleep. Seventeenth. So close. So close. So close. Okay, Pips Castle. Yeah. Nothing. Because this guy will have something. Woo! Yeah, superware. Okay, Beatrice. Subjects. Princess, I was thinking about Hugh. How did he become a knight? Yeah, good question. Ah, uh, yes. Truth be told, he started out as a hedge knight. He was not born into the profession, but adopted into it. Much like yourself. It is quite difficult for someone with no titles of their own to climb the ranks. Are you aware of that? I mean, that's quite kind of obvious. Yeah, tell me about it. Basically, every other profession. Hugh, however, got lucky. He managed to help my oh, father yeah. out of a rough spot. Yeah. The two okay. became good friends afterwards. It was said before. But do too. not assume that my father was the type to simply promote someone just because they were friends. As they got closer. My father recognized that Hugh's humble beginnings meant that he was already very knowledgeable of the different parts of Cerulea. Unlike most of the nobles who were cloistered up studying swordsmanship and chivalry, Hugh grew up fending for himself. He traveled from town to town, trying to make his living through odd jobs. As such, no one knows the lay of the land better than him. And basic, you know what? This shit makes him good, actually, at the logistics. Damn! Because he was traveling from town to town. He knows a lot of people that way, for sure. All the jobs as well. Basically, he needs food from somewhere. Boom! He has contact there. He has the food. Needs some material for weapons. Boom! Another town. Got it. Uh, I know, need salt, which is uh, only in third town. Boom, got it. Crazy. He knows exactly how many hours it takes to travel to Aridel by horse, or how many hours a storm will delay the journey. <laughs> he is the best man for the job. When the time comes to march off to fight the Gegners, he will be tasked with seeing to it that our army moves swiftly and efficiently to Alcos. Ah, Squire. Yes, is there, anything there else is on your mind? something on my mind. Yeah, I kind of don't want to use it yet. Let's give her the job about My, my! What a marvelous gift! Your tastes have certainly elevated, Squire. I appreciate it. Serena, thank you for having such a great gift in your offer. Conversation. A comforting... It is funny. I remember a while... Yeah, I know you are afraid of water, too. Where did they... Mm. It was not the time to go yet. Okay, here. Supposedly I should be triggering something in barracks as well. But... Ah, you're back. Oh. Sorry, I... I did not see you there. What if I gave you the potion? I warmly thank you for this gesture. You are very thankful. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So I'd like to think. Where is Val? There she is.
How are you doing? Huh? Yeah, how are you doing? Hobbies? You ever try skipping rocks? Yeah! Long, long time ago. Do you want to see my wares? Oh, I just want to sell you this for a crap ton of money. Thank you. And this one for also a lot. How about old silverware then? Great, glad you liked it. I guess broken earring will do then as well. Hey, folks. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I, <laughs> I don't remember where did I get the grimoire for from. Honestly, don't. Okay, there was a room in CG that I was supposed to unlock still during this time of the day, and I, I don't remember what it was. M might have been my room. Uh, oh, Giselle. Haven't seen her, everyone. Okay, I'm sorry, but we have to do this. It isn't over. Yet. But the quest isn't over yet. I think that was a good choice, right? I hope. Nice to see you. The future. The um... future. We'll find out in the next. Ah. Oh, I did unlock this one already, okay. It's D-Day! D-Day! Oh man, I don't remember where exactly that was. Holy crap. Okay, uh... P -p 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 so basically, I need to stay here. Wait a second, where... Oh, wait... Duh, duh, duh. When was that? Shit. Sorry. Uh, it was written somewhere. Fuck. Gossips, complaints. You can be okay. 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 Hmm. Okay, that's quite problematic. I'm pretty sure it was written somewhere, but I don't remember where. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Which is quite problematic now. Which is quite problematic. Because we had a birthday. And on this birthday here, there is supposed to be another event. Unfortunately, at the same place. Ah, uh, so. Skip an hour. And let's go here now. The problem is I don't know when exactly that happens as well. Okay. I know I get flip dot didn't get like caught. Get yeah, got it. Okay, Beatrice is here, let's go. How goes your train? Great! Hello there, princess! So, it must be pretty cool having Sir Grand as your personal bodyguard. Ah, uh, yes. Sir Grand. 
I couldn't ask for a better knight. I know, right? She's the greatest fighter in the kingdom! She single-handedly wiped out the Eridel crime syndicate! I see you are familiar with. She also beat the idiot assassins of the Sunken Claw! Why, yes! She did! Oh, you are in for a surprise, Beatrice, because this guy is a fanboy. She's won every tournament, and she holds the Kingdom Dragon for the furthest hammer throw! Good God! It seems you know more about her than I do. Quite the fan, are we? Mm. And why wouldn't I be? She's the best knight to ever grace Cerulea! I see. Well, I am happy to have her at my side. Her very presence inspires confidence. He's not done for. I bet he was not done. I bet he could say more. Okay, gift. <sighs> a cupcake of friendship. Uh, this is my This mistake. cupcake is a cerulean delicacy. Thank you for the treat, Squire. Why is this called cupcake of a friendship? It's not the type of cupcake we need. Right now! Okay, Val is here. Let's uh, hop this. You know, back when we had a boat, my daddy. That's about it for now. Okay. And now the waiting game. Yes. She's here. Unless. Can we like zoom out or something? We can't. Damn it. Okay, another hour. Another hour. There. Another hour. Okay. No, I can't. I. Ah, game. Now let's go. Great, nothing happens. Nothing happens. <laughs> Nobody's here. I want to kick myself. I give up, man. How do I trigger this crap? One more hour, whatever. Let's skip everything. Where are you? Love a squire, pummel event. Oh, I, I just spoiled. Uh... Accept. Okay. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Can we skip back? We can. What if I. Now that. I, okay, I'm curious. I mean, I know if we return super late, we are messed up. But of, what if we don't return? I better. God damn it. Where are you? I remember reading that aside from Emmy walking on dead day there uh, there would be also Pamu and that would trigger an event. And now we at least see what happens when we go, when we get back home too way too late. See how much of a day is lost. A lot of the day is lost. Why did it? 
I have no anymore. I don't know. Oh, there's Princess Beatrice. Greetings. Oh, hey, Princess Kamala. Uh, what are you doing over there? Have you ever wondered about Beatrice's hair? It is most curious, is it not? Her hair? Yes, her curls. They twist and spiral in such a perfect circular motion that it seems almost supernatural. Now that you mention it... How many hours does she spend each morning to get her hair like that? Does she use slime gel? Is that her secret? Damn it! I can't unsee it! I can't stop staring! Look, why don't we just go and ask her then? You're right. We are friends after all. That might be the best thing to do. Shadia, hello there. Kamala, what is it? The squire and I were wondering, your hair, why is it so perfectly curved? Oh, I'm glad you asked. The answer? Drills. Drills? Yes, it is a secret bloodline trait. In times of danger, those who are part of the royal line can turn our hair into drills. This helps us dig our way out of trouble. My grandfather, when fighting in the bandit war, was infamous for being able to skewer dozens of men on the curls of his majestic beard. I know, right? Surely you are joking. Am I? Well, a lady has her secrets. You might never know until the time comes. <laughs> you know, laughter. She's joking, right? Right? Uh, I'm not so sure. The power of drills. The power I've of drills. I've been looking for you. Why? Princess, uh, is there anyone else I should know about? Well, there is also the matter of Marshal Flinkman, that nitwit of a noble with the flair for the dramatic. He's not important. Recently, he has proven to be difficult. Let's call him names, being a piece of garbage. It is mostly due to his issues with the Cerulean Alcos Alliance. Just because his lineage was responsible for the expansion of Cerulea, he waltzes around like he owns the place. So, he's basically like the guy we were talking about earlier. Mm, you know, the one before him did something. And he acts like it was his doing, kind of, right? Blue bloods like him can be hard to deal with. But rest assured that he will be kept in line. Alright, I'll watch out for that guy. And destroy him if there is news. Where ah she went away again. Listen here, princess. I need to give you something. Ah, squire, is there anything else on your mind? Yes. Alluring cosmetics. I must like say, this is a fine choice for a gift. I yes. appreciate it, squire. I'm a genius when it comes Hi. to gifts up. Are there any other stuff you like doing? You know, this. Probably, yes. Ooh, no one around. Kamala is here. I'd say let's go to her, but it will be... Mm, 8 p.m. talk. Okay, we can do this. Future. You know, one of these days I want to be the. I want to be the best of best. That doesn't make any sense. I know, I know.
And this guy is like, where in, the, where in the hell is he going to appear for an adventure? He will not, because he already cleared the debt. I shall grace you with my presence. Okay, subjects. Oh, I'm done with the talk. I've been looking for you. Likes, what do you princess? like, princess? I was wondering, what sort of stuff does a princess like? I bet you've got some pretty fancy tastes. As a matter of fact, I receive gifts on a daily basis. From purebred stallions to diamond encrusted necklaces. It has become quite tiresome, honestly. And that's why I'm here! I wish my subjects would resort to more creative ideas when it comes to giving me gifts. Like me! I see, princess. Okay, so, speaking of gifts, fancy bouquet? Ah, a tribute for your future queen? Splendid! Yeah, 52 points only, but still. Nothing there. Don't worry, we'll still attack with some crazy gifts. I guess we had to go here. Hi. Hello. And uh, this. Okay, we used up that topic. Hey there. How you Brands doing? Armor, then. So, the whole armor thing. Okay. And Back so soon, huh? Well, what is like? it? A tulip? This? A gift? Wait, do you mean you don't like it? I don't know who we should call a weirdo then. Ah, Squire. Is there a conversation? Uh, who knew that talking about this sort of stuff would be so I would know. Maybe. Ah. <sighs> Okay, we have really nothing left to do. <laughs> we talked with everyone. I guess I can only count there will be some event somewhere. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, but there really is nothing going on around. Nice to see you. Same. Uh, romance. So, remember what we talked about last time? I honestly don't. I still can't believe I haven't been able to unlock that goddamn event. By the way, we are really speeding through this. <sighs> Maybe because I basically concentrate on one person's <laughs> events. Uh, and by that I mean that for sure because of that. Oh, Hello. There you are. Likes. Hello, your highness. The castle sure smells nice, doesn't it? <clears throat> There's always this flowery scent whenever I walk around the halls. Uh, do you see that green thing? Green thing? You near the cellar? Yeah, that's probably that. Ah, uh, finally! Someone noticed! I am quite fond of flowers. I owe this to my father, you see. When he was healthier. He was very fond of gardening. As such, he would bring back many exotic plants from his travels. But taking care of those must be a pain in the ass. He would give me the most magnificent of specimens. They would come in many colors. 
and their fragrance would rival even the most expensive Alcozi perfumes. And while I know it may be difficult to find rare flowers from across the world, I have come to appreciate even the simplest Cerulean flowers. Nice. And this is why the castle is adorned by a floral scent. Thanks for sharing that story, Princess. Oh, and I wish your father well. Yes. Now, let us get back to our duties, shall we? Sure. Okay. We are pulling the big guns now. Okay. What do you think of Lady of the Lake Fish, girl? Lady of the Lake? Is this really for me? Yes! Of course it is, princess. But something like this? I hope you did not resort to selling your prized cow to acquire such an item. Hey, I've got my ways. I am sure you do. Thank you for the gift, Squire. I shall keep it safe. Only for a hundred points. What? What? Only that amount? I think someone is cheating. I feel cheated. Please. But you hmm. You know what? I have all Okay. Hi. Hi. We can rest and I can't rest in Kamala and sure. Well uh, anything happening here maybe. Have you been working out? Yeah, day and night. Of course it's not true. This pretty face has some pretty items for sale. Why do you not have anything new? Oh, you are the one selling the giant grimoire. Okay. You wanna talk? Yeah. Doesn't it get kind of creepy? Being friends with <laughs> I guess we can go here. For to be fair, I should be going out skirts trying to catch this fish again. Uh, for the next NG plus. This is problematic. <sighs> Okay, let's go to the castle. Hello. I've been looking for you. Oh, Princess, is that so? I've noticed that there are a lot of pastry shops popping up lately. Pretty cool, huh? What a day to be alive! And you have me to thank for that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, I could just freaking remember to put the freaking laughter, that's all. You see, but, you know, I pride myself on being a pastry connoisseur. Uh, I guess twice? I have had the pleasure of tasting many pastries from around the world. From the strawberry tarts of Falcon. To the grape-filled scones of Leavenwall. And after much study, I have come to this conclusion. Cream what? puffs! Wait, what? Cream puffs are objectively... Really? Uh, what about apple pies? Do not question the royal tongue! I spent a good deal of my childhood figuring out what the best pastry is. At the tender age of twelve, I finally discovered it. 
It was my first crowning achievement. Achievement unlocked. It is cream puffs. Cream puffs are the best. Anyone who says otherwise is committing treason. I mean, I honestly don't think apple pie is better than cream puffs, to be honest. <coughs> I, I, I've got to say, yes. I'd rather have cream puffs than apple pie. Then again, I prefer cakes over pies. Ah, Squire, so. is there anything else on your mind? I don't know if you're ready for this, princess. Are you ready for this? Lady of the Lake, is this really for me? Of course it is, princess. But something like this? I hope you did not resort to selling your prized cow to acquire such an item. <laughs> hey, I've got my Of course ways. not. I am sure you do. Thank you for the gift, Squire. I shall keep it safe. Where's Kamala, by the way? Hi. Hello. So, like, aside from the whole talking armor thing. This? A gift? Yes! The fish works! It gives me whole 32 points! Crazy amount. Come along! Hello there, Squire. Damn it, we used we will we used up Please. that already. Perhaps Turn we on. What? Oh, oh boy, I know where what we are. What else can you tell me about the Gegners? We are at the point that I was with Emmy at some point on the first playthrough. Where I Basically, couldn't do anything. Let's go here. Hey there, Giselle. I'm sorry, I have to do this. That's how we are playing here now. Hiya! Hiya! Hey, bro! Notice anything? Uh, there you are. Witchcraft. Hey, Giselle. Yeah, it looks like you've been at it with the. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going there even. Hello! Oh. Proceed, Sir Grand. The princess will now hear Lady Justinia Avell's plea on behalf of Lord Claudius Avell's case. Hey, you! Is this another trial? Are we gonna see the princess slay another criminal? Hmm. Not all trials are fun and games. When you're dealing with politics, things get kind of messy sometimes. Oh, I see. Princess, with each passing day, my husband grows weaker. He needs medical attention. With his condition, imprisonment is a death sentence. While the case of Lord of Vell's health is an unfortunate one, the fact remains that the sentence of high treason was passed eight years ago. Proof of treason was never produced by the court. Witnesses on multiple accounts, testimonies from his fellow noblemen. You've read the papers, princess. Please tell me you've read them. I've spent the last five years of my life building his case. Please, you must understand. My husband fought for what he believed in using peaceful methods. Peace. Peaceful methods and yet treason. Mm. I come here now hoping that the king's daughter would be more merciful and reasonable than her father. Wow. 
What a bitch. What are you implying about my father? P please understand, Your Highness. Even the best of us are prone to act rashly. But you, you can settle this. The new ruler of... Do not speak as if my father is already dead. I would think that you of all people would understand these matters, given Lord Claudius's condition. My father still lives and breathes. I cannot simply overrule his actions. It would not be right. And still it was treason. Please, princess, I beseech you, consider my appeal. P please. For now, I must speak with my advisors. I will need some time to think. This appeal is postponed. We shall continue at a later date. <sighs> well, that was... Intense? Yeah. That lady... Her husband... Was that all true? Let's just say that the king didn't take kindly to people who spoke out against him. He was a strong leader. Sometimes what makes a strong leader is having the will to do what needs to be done to preserve power. I may not agree with everything he did during his time, but I can see why he did it. What worries me is how the princess is going to deal with the situation. All eyes are on her. Anyway, let's help clear this place out. That wasn't exactly my idea of a fun trial. Real bummer to end the day. Princess, is everything alright? The people have begun to question my father's rule. Is this my fault? Is it because they see me as a weak ruler? Do you believe yourself to be a weak ruler, your highness? Well, in light of recent events, I have to. The only alternative would be that... Sir Grand, do you think my father was a good man? From what I observed, he ruled with strength. However, strength oftentimes instills fear. Strength? They would think me weak if I repealed a sentence my father passed. Perhaps they would. I just want to be like my father. He was a good king. A great king. I know he was. He taught me to always stand my ground. Then your decision should be easy. Yes. So it should be. Princess, it is not my place to judge a king, but I believe a daughter should freely possess the right to judge her father. And on the topic of strength, I believe there are many kinds. For a daughter to look upon her father's actions and judge them unbiased, well... I think it would also be fair to see that as a form of strength. I see. I will think about this. Thank you, Sir Grand. Princess. <sighs> no, it's fine, it's fine. Mm. Okay, to the house. And let us end the episode here. We will continue tomorrow with the route to Beatrice's heart. Hope we'll get there. Anywho, for now, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.